Heyo! It's me, Harper Savage, and today is day 8 of 12 days of arts and crafts. Last time we did this, along with other inserts for the back of the truck. Be sure to check out that video if you haven't already. And today, we're going to be making some gingerbread houses with this kit here. But there's going to be a little bit of a twist. But right now, we need to figure out what our coffee is. Well, today's coffee is hot buttered rum. All right, here's the coffee. Now, I'm not a fan of the candles that smell like this, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this very much, but we'll see. Not bad. I wouldn't say it like tastes anything like how the candles smell though. Okay, so I said there's a twist because this makes 24 flat gingerbread houses. I wanna make a 3D one. I'm gonna be using like the extra parts because I'm not gonna be making 24 of these. Well, here are the houses. These are the flat bits. They're just white on the back. And here are the chimneys, the candies and doors, a couple sheets of each, and the roofs and more candies. For now, we're going to experiment and see how we can make this into this flat thing into a 3D thing. I'm thinking I could do something like this and then I cut the roofs off of these pieces to be the sides of the house. I think that could work. But we need scissors. I'm gonna just eyeball it here. Pick out a couple of nice pieces. I'm gonna use some tape to kind of temporarily hold this together. I have a bunch of scrap tape just sitting here. And just fold it around. Might have done the tape a little bit too si too tight these pieces but this is we're just testing it first before we go crazy and try to build it and make it pretty now for the roof this is a little bit wider it seems but I think I could kind of force it into being wide enough I think this could work. Maybe have these in the corners or something to kind of stabilize it before I put the roof on. Alright, so you'll see my general plan here. Now let's take it all apart and decorate. Okay, so I'm going to start with decorating. So thick on the one side. I mean, I guess what do you expect for paying like a couple bucks? Look at this one. <laughs> the red line is not even on that one. So let's switch it. I also put the curly whirlies on the bottom. I guess it doesn't matter yet. There. Problem solved. <laughs> We have enough of these candies to put on the roof. It's gonna be annoying, but I'm gonna do it. I 
But first they want to add some snow. a sheet of the red ones and a sheet of the green ones here. Go ahead and scooch other stuff off of the screen. We have more room. See how many of these sheets this takes up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it takes up almost six sheets. I have probably just enough, probably a little more for the other side. So I just sat here and like kind of straightened these out a little bit so there weren't any hanging off the edge. Now I'm gonna continue on this side. All this work for a roof. So here's the roof. My idea is hopefully that they look like the, what are they called, shingles on the top of the roof. Go ahead and clean up the area here. So this is what's done so far. I did work on the roof forever. And now it's time to get back into working on the front and back and the sides. Hopefully I'll put in as much effort as I did on the front, back, and sides as I did on the roof. that just hangs over the edge there and you're just supposed to leave it like that if you're doing a flat oh no that doesn't seem right My idea is that it's a lollipop bush. Now, I want these to kind of be like lights, I guess? Thinking like maybe a fence along the side of the house.
So my idea for these little tiny peppermints are that the green stuff is like the cord and these are the lights for the roof here. I like how it's turning out so far, but I need to do more to the front, I think. I decided to make my own little window. It's a little wonky, but it's not as bad as these ones that are printed horribly. My idea was that this could be a mailbox and that little thing could be telling them that they have mail, but I don't know if I like it. Okay, so I did decide to go with the lollipop mailbox idea and maybe this is just to, like a post to mark the house, like what house number it is. But I think that's all I want to do for the decorating, so I'm going to clean up real quick. Alright, before we continue on, it is time for today's lip balm. Today is day eight. Off screen, of course. Salted caramel. Interesting. I was expecting it to be a little brownish for some reason. Oh yeah, it definitely smells like salted caramel. I know on your actual lips, it's not too overpowering either, though I would give it like a 5 out of 10. Alright, time to start gluing these pieces together. I have a hot glue gun. for what I'm convinced is going to be the hard part. Okay, now I need to figure out what I'm going to do about the two like open sides. Alright, so here's my uh, 2D turn 3D gingerbread house. I think it's pretty cute. And it stands and everything. It's a little lopsided, but you know. What can you do? It's foam. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to do all the cool youtube -y things of comment, liking, and subscribing. And don't forget to check out my affiliate links. I get a small commission every time you guys click on those links and you purchase something within 24 hours. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye!